Hi, it's Professor Hastings again, and I want to welcome you to the first part of a series on sketching user interfaces. Uh, this is for mobile, mobile devices, and I want to share with you in this first video a number of tools that are really handy for sketching interfaces. And I want to start out with the most simple because there's nothing you, elaborate that you need for this. So pen, pencil, and a straight edge. And for straight edges, I even, I teach my students this. You can take a piece of paper and fold it and use that edge, that edge for a straight edge, if you don't have a ruler. So really you need very few tools for this. But I'm gonna show you a few special tools that make it so much easier. So we're not talking about a fabulous ability to draw as we understand elaborate rendering to be, but basically the tools and materials that we can use to get our ideas out on paper so that we can then reflect, discern, analyze those ideas and all of the different aspects of them. So let's just focus on tools for now. And the first thing that I wanna share with you is that I have created some wireframe templates and three different kinds and sizes. So this is for what we call thumbnail drawing, which is very small drawings where we can roughly sketch out our ideas and then keep them or roll them out. And I'm gonna show you how to do this in the next video, thumbnail drawing. The next one I wanna share with you is full size. So any of the larger devices that we have, you can see this is full size. And later on in the series, I'm gonna show you how to use this template to create um, interactive prototypes in different applications on the phone. Um, so this is full size. And then there is uh, watch ideation. So I've got different screens that could be part of your uh, app, watch related app, um, or it can show the scrolling so that if you're swiping through the screens of an app, this kind of gives you an idea of what that looks like. And then this is a larger one so that you can maybe refine what a particular interface looks like or refine what the icon and branding look like on the watch. So those are the three templates that I have created for you. And those are available um, for free download in a link under the video. So if you're interested in that, and then I've also created 140 page sketchbook with all of these wireframes in it so that you can have um, a very handy book to carry around with you. And it's A4, um, so it's nice big size and you can use it like you would any sketchbook. So some of the other tools that you want to think about beyond the basics, beyond the basics, is a pencil sharpener. That's a cute little portable one that I like. Mechanical pencils. And there are a number of reasons we want to use mechanical pencils. They don't have to be sharpened. As you can see, the point is very fine. And this is going to make sense in a second when I show you what else. Um, pink pearl or white pearl eraser because, you know, we like to erase pencil marks. And then maybe if we are presenting these for clients at some point to get feedback, to find out what they think, then we might want to ink these in. And I've got a variety of inking pens here. Your basic ink, you know, um, this is actually kind of a nice one. It's not very basic. It's a Uniball Signo. Um, Papermate Flare, if you want a thicker line for something. And then this is a series of microns. These are like design nerdy pens and, you know, manga pens. There are a lot of different people that like to use these. And if you can see the different sizes here, 
um, from very fine to a little bit thicker and they go really thick. So those are our mark making tools. And then because we don't have to be able to draw a straight line, people are often famous for saying, oh, I can't even draw a straight line. Well, you don't actually need to be able to because we have all kinds of tools that allow us to draw straight lines. The ruler, the folded paper, and then these are some really great stencils that you can get on Amazon um, and other places, but I'll, I'll put the link to Amazon below um, for different common icons for mobile app development. So you might, in the development of the high fidelity versions of your interfaces, change some of your icons, but for the sketching phase, these are just fine. And this gives you an idea as you're sketching these out, what is where, what the navigation looks like. And you see there are a couple of different sizes. This one is really developed for web, although you can use it for the larger mobile screens now. And then this one was, of course, um, developed for phones, and it's still pretty close to size. So if you didn't have a wireframe template printed out, you could easily trace around the size of this to give you a good shape for sketching your interface. Then I have a bunch of random templates that I've picked up here and there. So different size circles, these are even larger icons of different kinds. Um, here's some more hearts are everywhere. We, we may have to use a heart in it. Um, rounded uh, rectangles. And then this is great for the larger interfaces when you're deciding where a photograph is going to go or some kind of video or content. <clears throat> and then another that has rectangles, triangles circles, squares, a variety of shapes. And then this, these are actually eraser templates, um, but they come with a, a bunch of drawing kits and they're great for just putting in lines and shapes here and there, modifying as desired. So these are the tools that I'm gonna be using to show you how to create lovely, fast, cheap interface sketches so that you can ideate quickly and also create beautiful artifacts that you can use in your UX and UI portfolios. And that's the key to doing neat and tidy and a professional approach to your sketching so that you can include this part of the process in your UX UI portfolios. Okay, so I'll see you in the next one, sketching. <laughs>